He said, no, build the boat and get ready because my wrath is coming. And when I get upset, I destroy everything. Some of your lives, God is about to remove Sick and tired of the same old, same old. Sick and tired of you loving folk that don't love you. Sick and tired of people treating you a certain type of way and you're trying to be nice to everybody and you're trying to look out for people that don't love you. I'm going to tell you something. You got patience, but sometimes God ain't got the kind of patience that you got and he'll come ripping through. Watch out, because when God get angry, no. it starts picking. Come out, come out. Start, start to breaking and, and damaging and, and going through. <laughs> I'm afraid of God when they get mad. Yes, sir. Say yes, so. Absolutely. Yes, sir. I don't know what's going to happen God. when God yeah. get God. upset. Amen. God get upset, you don't know what he's going to take out, who he's going to take out. What you better do is just plead God's yes, mercy. Yes. Lord, give me some mercy. Yes, 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 yes. Lord said, I know what you can do. I heard the story. And I need you to have mercy. Oh, me. Yes, Lord. See, the problem with us is some of us are really not afraid of God. Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. I know you don't want to hear this. Say that again. That's why you lie like you lie. Come on. Say that again. That's why you steal. That's why you cuss. That's why you, you are who you are because you have no fear of God. But when the fear of the Lord comes in you, you're going to want to be right before Him. And let me tell you something. Uh, let, let me, let, can, can I let the Lord use me? On, I ain't got no notes today. This is the spirit of God talking to me. Today. We got to a place one time in church where we just preach God's love. God's love. God's love. Let's be God's love. God, yes, he is love. Yes, he is love. But have you seen in the scripture God get upset. God get upset. He will wipe a whole army out with one one red sea. Come on, yeah. come on, come yeah. on. When God get upset, He'll kill your biggest, his, his the big Goliath, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and use the smallest thing to beat yes, the biggest come thing. Come yeah. When God get upset, His wrath will show. And Lot was afraid because he knew God was not pleased. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. If God ain't pleased, you need to be afraid. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. I'm going to handle this today. Y'all can sit there all you want. Yes. <laughs> when God is upset, uh -huh. you ought to be afraid. Because yeah. you don't know what's going to happen yeah. 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 when Amen. God gets mad. Woo. Your job is to want to please yes. him. Yes. Yes. Like, so if I can find just one. Just one. Lord, will you not tear up the sea? Mm -hmm. And then the Bible says that, the Bible says that Lot could not find one righteous person. Couldn't find one person in the whole entire city that loved God enough. So he grabbed his family mm -hmm. and said, I'm going to escape for my life. Mm -hmm. He said, Lord, now, if you permit me, I just want to go to this little city little city called Zohar. Let me just go to this little city, to this
to get away. Because if I go into the mountains, they're going to kill me. And if I go into the plains, I'll surely die. But just let me escape. Let me just get far enough away. Now watch this. This is a word that God said that I love. He said, I'm going to let you escape because I cannot do what I need to do until I let you out. Come on. God said, I'm going to let you get out of here. Come on. And the only reason that I can't, I can't kill this city, I can't unleash my wrath, is because you're still involved. Let me tell you what I'm trying to show you. Yes, sir. Come on. Some of you, God has not unleashed on on your life because you're still there. Come on. Some people in places in your life, God was been supposed to take out. Some people God has been supposed to attack. Some ways that folk don't treat you. you. You don't know this, but you're the only reason that they're still living. Because you have been connected to them. God said, I can't unleash until I get you free. I cannot, I cannot show my authority, my power, until I make sure you in the clear. I ain't gonna do nothing. All right. My God, my God. <laughs> you saving them, fool. <laughs> Jesus. You saving them. Yep. Trying to win them. <laughs> saving them. <laughs> trying to, to, to be nice. Yeah. You saving them. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes. Cancer was already yes. supposed to be activated. Mm -hmm. But you're still with us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm so old to bend on done this. And I'm not going to do nothing. Until I say you. Jesus. This is what God said. And the Bible says God took his family. Lot took his family. Now, if you don't mind me, I want to shift this story. Because this story is a very sad story. Because the true main character of this text is not Lot. Mm -hmm. True main character of this text is Lot's wife. wife. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. Yes. Because we understand that a wife goes through with her husband. <coughs> uh -huh. That's right. We understand that whatever he dealing with, she's dealing with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trials that he had to go through, he may not have realized it, but she had to go through the same trials. Yeah, that's right. Either she had to be supportive, either she had to be a help. So all of these earthly goods that he had obtained yeah. did not only belong to him, mm -hmm. but it belonged to her. That's right. Uh -huh. that's right. And it's, I can see some mornings, Lot wife would get up. She would walk into her kitchen and see how she had all her kitchen decorated in great accents. <laughs> Every morning she would smell the brand new rose. She was comfortable in the house. Mm -hmm. She had gotten used to living the way she lived. Mm -hmm. She had servants and man servants. She didn't want for anything. She had everything she could ever want and she was happy. And now after I've been through so much to have so much love we gotta get up and leave everything. God just shifted on me. Mm -mm -mm. 
to where all that I had, all that I gained, you mean to tell me now is gone? All the tears that mean nothing? All the struggles? You mean to tell me lot? All my struggles meant nothing? And now you want me to just pick up and leave the kids in school here and the good school. Come on, go on. In a good school, they got good teachers and, and make it on the road. And now you want me to up and leave? I remember the park. I little Jaden was playing in the park. And he fell on my lap and I caught him and we laughed. And you want me to forget all of this? And go to a land that I don't even no. know nobody, and I don't have anything of preaching, and I know I am. You want me to move in faith and forget that God, God has brought on this, and then you're going to tell me. That I can't even look back. Come on. You telling me once I leave, I can't look back. I can't look back to all of this. I can't, I can't tell you I'm gonna do that because I'm not. Come on, come on. Chain my chain, my memories got me in chain. Some things you want me to let go. God, I just can't let it go. Some of us, we have a problem with breaking things that that seem to be attached to our life. Come on. Sometimes we have a problem with just cutting off what God wants us to cut it off. Just sometimes we just have a problem. Yes, we do. Come on. Relationships. We remember. Relationships. I don't care if they want no good for me. Don't mean I gotta forgive no God shit. Forgive. Come on. God is saying, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, and I need you to start anew. But I can't get you to start anew when you're thinking of old. Listen. See, some of you are trying to go in 2016 remembering the things of 2015. And I cannot allow you to step over the threshold bringing all things to a new land. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Been in all relationships. Come on. All problems. To a new place. I need somebody to high five your neighbor and say, Neighbor, it is a new season. And I can't bring old stuff in my new season. I can't bring old problems to my new season. I can't bring old headaches to my new season. Listen, I don't, I need two people to just jump up and say everything new. Forget those things that 